Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about uh, a concept, uh, a feature in .NET called panes. It's not so much a feature but it's more of a, a concept. So what, what is a pane in .NET Nook. Now, if you are an experienced .NET Nook user, you may just skip this video completely because maybe there's nothing much new for you here. But if you are just getting started with .NET Nook, this might shed some light into the basic concepts of .NET Nook. And one of those concepts is is a uh, pain. What what are pains in .NET Nook? So this is a, a, a demo site, this is a test site, and, and to, to demonstrate what a pain is, uh, let's log into the site, and I can either log in as admin or host, I will log in this time as uh, admin. Now, this demo site, it has no content at this point, uh, I'm logging into the back end, and to, demo, to see what, uh, to see where uh, you can find pains in .NET Nook. Uh, the first thing that I would recommend is switch uh, the mode in the control panel to layout. So once you you switch from edit to layout, you can see in the middle of the page uh, f five distinct areas called top pane, left pane, content pane, right pane, and button pane. So those are the the panes that come with the default skin in .NET Nook. And the default skin .NET Nook is called uh, Minimal Extropy. So you, ca you can see that by going to Admin Site Settings. And of course, change this back to Edit. Scroll down, Advanced Settings, sorry, Appearance. And you can see here, Minimal Extropy. This is the default uh, skin that comes with uh, .NET Nook a uh, new installation of .NET Nook. So let's go back to the home page. Let's flip to layout. So here you have we have uh, five different containers. Sorry, panes. Now, what can we do with those panes? What what do they mean? How can we use them? So basically, panes are nothing more, nothing less than spots, than than places uh, in in the in the skin in the page that you can plug modules. So let's say. I want to add an HTML module, which is selected here, to the, then I can select in the drop down of panes, I can select which pane this module should go to. And again, it's listing here five panes because this skin has only five panes. But each skin that you may purchase or that you may create yourself, they may have uh, as many panes as you want or as little as you want. So again, this uh, this is not uh, this does mean that uh, all skins will have five panes. No, all skins will have at least one pane, and this one pane needs to be called content pane. So that's the very minimum that a skin need to have in terms of panes. But aside of that, you can go with as many panes as you as you may want. Now again, the very uh, uh, the, the one pane that is required is the content pane. So each and every skin needs to have at least one pane and it needs, it needs to be called content pane. So let's try to add our, our module here, the HTML module to the right pane. So when I do that, the, content, the HTML module was placed in the right pane and I can put some text in this module. Well, I have to flip to edit mode. And don't worry that this is taking the entire width of the site. It's just because the the, the pane is expanding because there's not nothing on, on its side. But uh, let's let's put some text here. This is some text on the right. So let's save this. So we have some text here. Let's go back to the layout. Now I'm seeing the panes again. I'm going to add another HTML module now, this time to the left pane. So it will be placed right here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna flip back to edit. 
So now I can see some text on the right, and I will put here some text on the left. So let's save this. So basically, we have added uh, two modules: one to the left pane and one to the into the right pane. And we have placed some text there. Go back to layout. We can see the modules here. We can no longer see the the text, but it's just because it's in the layout. Very easily, we can uh, uh, switch the places, uh, the, the panes for one module. Let's say we go to the pull down menu, to the action menu. We can uh, go to move, and then we can select another pane uh, that this module should go to. Let's say that uh, we want to move it to the top pane. So it's moved to the top pane. We want to move the, the, the module in the right pane to the content pane. Let's move to the content pane. So we can we can rearrange the modules even after they are placed in the page. Now let's put our modules back to, to their original spots, the, their original panes. So one in the left, one in the right. So let's try to do something right now. Let's switch the skin of this page to another skin. So again, this is the default skin that comes with .NET Nook. I'm going to switch the skin and replace it with another skin. So I have installed uh, another skin already to the site. I'm just going to go to the edit page. And for this page, which is the home page, I'm going to the advanced settings. And under page skin, I'm going to select another skin that I have uploaded here. It doesn't matter too much which skin is that one. So let's select this skin. Let's click update. And as you can see, this is a completely different skin. If I go to the pane uh, drop down, I only see two panes. One is the slogan pane, the other one is the content pane. As I said, depending on the skin that you are using, you will have more panes, less panes, panes with different names, but at least you will have very minimal the content pane. Now, as you can see, if we flip back to edit, you see that both modules that we placed before, they are all inside the content pane right now. So why is that? Why they, are, they went inside the content pane once we flip uh, and once we change the skin of our site? It's basically because this uh, new skin that we have chosen, it does not have a left pane nor a right pane. So because uh, there's no left pane, there's no right pane, the modules that were placed in the page will all go go default to the content pane. So if by any chance, so again, click edit, I can see the content here, click layout. Now, if I go back to the previous skin, uh, then those modules will be placed in their proper uh, panes again. So if I go to edit again, I will just select here uh, minimal extropy index, and if I click update, see modules. The, the, both modules are back to their original panes. You can also see that with just a few panes, you can you can create various different types of of, of module arrangements in your page. So. Again, basically, uh, this is the objective of, of, of panes. Panes will allow you to place modules inside different uh, spots in a page. Okay, I hope that this gives you uh, a good overview of what a pane is. Okay, so that's basically it. Thank you very much. Bye.